movement, foam balloon without bursting excrement. When I inflate the balloon, it suddenly burst. And when I take the second balloon, I pour some water in the balloon. Show it on the top of the candle flame. It should not burst immediately. Balloon burst. Burst because the rubber of balloon become very thin when I show it in the Shorten the hot temperature and so it calls for bursting of this balloon. And when I pour some water in the second balloon, it cannot be burst because, because water is a good conductor. The water absorbs most of the heat from the candle flame. The candle flame. The rubber obviously does not reach a temperature, so it does not burst. Next assessment, pepper dispersion experiment. First I pour some water in this plate. Then I take pepper and spread it in the water. and place it in the plate. Look the difference. The pepper is hydrophobic or does not dissolve in water. It mixes with water. It, the molecules of water are strongly attached to each other. So it has high surface tension. It keeps pepper particles in float. breaks down. Now the water molecules spread out away from foam. They also bring the pepper particles with them. Next test water transfer across glasses excrement. First we pour some water. Color waters. I used food color. Then I take tissue paper or paper and dip like this. The color water from the filled glass move to the empty glass. Why it happens? We know water always flow up to down. But this experiment we can see water flow through the paper to second glass. This caused by capillary action. Well, do you know what is capillary action? Capillary action means the ability of water or liquid to flow in narrow space without external force. Look, our experiment. We had to wait for some minutes. Here we can see the water move up from the tiny gaps is the fiber of paper. That water able to move against the force of gravity. Look our experiment, it's working.
the end the color water transfer to the empty glass from the gaps of paper thank you